Devin, what is this joint? Ooh, look at the wine glasses. We need more of those at the, at the, at the Brandy and Dave abode. For sure. So look, this is not a food and wine booth, but it is a pavilion, for sure. Oh, awesome candy, awesome whatever. Why are you going, what, look at you going around the line. We're here at the sake bar at the back of, what is this, Mik Mikushar, I, I can never say this, the shop in Japan. But I've never gotten anything from here, I've always filmed it. And I've always been intrigued, and this man right here, you're good. this man right here said, we gotta go get some sake. So, we're here, and it's time. All right, so it looks like we're going to try the Desai, which is a traditional sake. Came out of the refrigerator. Came out of the refrigerator. And here we go, Fo Cho. Look at this. Yes. No. So you get you get the sugar that is then fermented from the rice, as opposed to the sugar that is then fermented from the grape. So the processes are slightly different. And then throw it at. And that's how you get sake. I'll make, I don't know. I'll make the toast. Are we ready? All right, we're ready. I want to say cheers to my new friends from all over the world. Um, make us all come back together and uh, remember. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, gentlemen. Why am I the last one? You're not. It's all good. Did I miss Q here? <laughs> so this is the traditional sake here in. The, the, the Japanese pavilion. Mitsukoshi. Mitsukoshi, thank you. Mitsukoshi. Saki bar at the back of it. Good stuff. It's like a it's a, it's a prohibition era saki bar. It's a it's a speakeasy. It is the speakeasy of saki bar. It was pretty good. It's got the got a very very distinct flavor. Um, a good good burn at the back. It, it, it's not a not a sweet wine by any means, but uh, it's um uh, well uh it's got um I don't know, it's almost like it's almost like a, a club soda of wines. Does that make sense? Like yeah, like like you know what I'm saying? Like maybe really tonic wines. And it's yeah, like filtered so well. Yeah. This, I like, is, this is pretty good. I like a lemongrass sake. I never had it. We should have a lemongrass sake then. Where we get that Let's go find it. So as much as we love this pavilion. I don't know if I've ever eaten at Summerfest, but we're not eating anyways. We are here for a beverage. So we walk into Summerfest and come out without food because that's what you do. Oh, that was odd, but yes, Warsteiner Dunkel. German dark beer. One of my favorites, to be honest. Did everyone get it? That's funny. What? What? These guys got a lesson in, uh, in in German that I don't know anything about German, but it's Versteiner. Did you give the lesson? Versteiner didn't do it. Did you give the lesson, he Steve? The he got the hip of it. The hip of it. He, he actually did, nice. the, he did the official translation. Basically, he which which sounded very angry. Which hip of it? It turns out. How you do it? It turns out I spent 20 years in the German uh, dialect. Really? Yeah, so I know exactly where everyone uh, lives, particularly to their region, based on their specific dialect, on how they, yeah, and it's, all, it's very subtle, <laughs> but when you do 20 years straight, you, you, get, you get familiar with it. I, of course I, you do. I really did eight years, so. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get, Dev? I got very The heavy? Nice. We're the, we're the girls. No, no, it's good, man. Cheers. So we are continuing around oh, the showcase. Yeah, yeah. That's and awesome. We've been just hanging out, doing things. We found Hello. Preston and Pete 
Yeah. And it's uh, it's it's yeah, almost a recon mission tonight for there's a donut for food and wine. I'm I'm interested in figuring out how I'm gonna attack this thing tomorrow. So it's a little haphazard. We've tried a few things. We're gonna go try a few more in the next hour, but it's getting late, and frankly, still kind of tired from a Galaxy's Edge this morning. But we're gonna power through because that's what we do. Right, Preston? Yep. No climbing. So as always, it's La Cava. We are here because I have to. I can't come to Epcot without going to La Cava. It is sacrilege. Brandy's gonna be very mad when she sees this video. I'm sorry, honey. I love you. Alright, so as always when you're in La Cava, you must get the combo. And we're introducing it to a couple folks because it is legit the best guacamole on property. And the salsa is fantastic, and the cheese is fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. What? You gonna do a review? So the overall look of this, this chip, it looks very, it looks very crispy. Good? It looks, it, it looks a little dirty. It may have fallen on the floor once or twice. But the actual green stuff, it looks, it looks very creamy. Um, it doesn't fall over when it's upside down. So it's like it's like a blizzard. It's very sticky. And I feel like if you can do this with walk over. That's a chef flip. So that was the combo. So it turns out I did it on purpose because I wanted to add the cheese flavor to it. And the only way to actually do it properly is to flip it upside down and make sure it falls right exactly in the top spot. And then look at that right there. What? Just like I call it, perfect amount of sauce and green stuff. And let me just go ahead and... That was a perfect drop. Perfect drop. Did you double dip the chip? No. I don't double dip. No, I just want Corey to laugh. <laughs> so Deb turned us on to one thing, and I think I knew this, but if you follow La Cava on Twitter, you can get, it's an $8 tequila shot. And look, it's not just for you, it's for your party that is with you that wants it. And not only that, but I feel like this is a taller shot than they give, because it's normally in the 7.5. So this is something to do. Make sure you're following La Cava on Twitter. I'll put it in the uh, description below. And frankly, it's an awesome thing to do anyways, because this place is the bomb. So as always, it is Jalapeno Margarita time. And they changed the name and I don't know why. I don't know why. But it is the Diablo Margarita and I feel like they made it spicier. Whether or not they're still including like the veins from the jalapenos or what. But we had this a month ago and it was, Brandy's was so hot she couldn't drink it. She had to have another one. Um, this one's, this one's, this one is hot, but it's good, as always. Have you seen yet? Really good stuff. Um, as I've always said, we love La Cava. Stop here, take 45 minutes, come in, enjoy the air, enjoy the chips, salsa, chips, I'm sorry, ha, chips, salsa, queso, and guacamole in the company of some really, really awesome people. So as I suspected, La Cava was a time suck. La Cava is always a time suck. It is a time vortex. I think they need to do a little bit of research there as to what sort of, uh, I don't know, wormhole is going on in there, but it is almost part closed. We gotta go get our new food and wine magnet, so we're gonna go do that, and then, uh, Hang out, I guess. Right, dude? Yep. Hang it. So we might as well end this thing. We went to Bellevue. We hung out. Life is good. We're off the jelly rolls. I'm not filming that. Update. Update. We're heading to jelly rolls. Ian's Whatever. here! Ian's 
T Ren and J Rose. Had some burgers. Had some, had some fun time. Yes. Walk the mile. We're all home. I'm not sure. It's been fun. It's all good. I think the Day's over. Yesterday, but I Thanks so much for watching. Today. Click that subscribe button. Hey guys, thumbs up. up. This is Chef from the Chef family. This is totally Chef from the Chef family hanging guys, out behind me. How are you guys me. doing tonight? I'm he just doesn't, hanging out, having he, a great time. He doesn't even have a camera. <laughs> this is the best <laughs> part. Check me out on YouTube, subscribe, hit that like button. Make sure that Please, you are. Guys. Bye guys. Yeah. Oh. Good night. Peace. Out. It's amazing. This is totally the outro, but vlogger, 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 vlogger music.